Hello and welcome to this video where we will be taking a look at the 18W46A snapshot for 1.14. And in this series we are taking a look at the newest snapshots for Minecraft and we take a look at what they contain. Let's get started. Also, I must apologize if you hear music in the background. It is the neighbor and I can't really do much about it. Send help. Anyways, the first new thing that we will be taking a look at is a new block and they added a lantern. And this I really appreciate because I have been wanting a new source of light in Minecraft for ages now because building a house and putting torches really isn't all that pretty. So I am happy that they finally are adding a new source into Minecraft as you can see here. This lantern gives slightly more light than a torch. It cannot be placed on the side of a block only either like that or hanging from the ceiling which is fine by me, but I'm just happy now that we have a new block like this. And it's pretty cool that it can only hang from the ceiling actually. It gives it a bit, a bit of a difference, if you will. So that is really cool, like, right, I can't speak, sorry, <laughs> right there. Let's place it right there and remove those. So they can be placed on the floor and on the ceiling. The crafting recipes for these are a torch, just like that. And eight iron nuggets. So with the torch and eight iron nuggets, you will put the torch in there in the center, surrounded with iron nuggets, and there you go. You have a lantern, which is really cool because I don't think they have really used the um, the iron nuggets since they came into Minecraft really for anything. So it is really cool to see a block or an item that finally uses those new blocks. So that is really cool right there. And I just realized in my editing that I completely didn't show the lantern's light. So um, let's do that now. <laughs> so here we go, the lantern. And if we place a torch over here, I'm sure if we fly up high enough, we can see that the lantern, it, actually it is, it is giving off more light than the torch, which is pretty cool. It's a little bit hard to see, but I believe it is. We don't really have any flat ground, there's a witch hut, um, around here. But I believe, I do believe that the, that the lantern is doing as they say it should. It is giving off more light, which is pretty cool. Um, what I usually like to do when making a road, for example, is have some fence going up like this, maybe three high, then up an extra and over like that to have a street light. In this case, I will probably have it up, but it would look really ugly with this. And usually then I have to use something like a glowstone or a redstone block like that when doing street lights. So I would have to, for example, do something like this, which is then all of a sudden really big and not really suited for small paths. But this, this is really suiting. And as you can see, it even pops off when it doesn't have any support. Like that, that that gives off light. If we just turn this torch off and this one off, you can see it. It gives off of pretty good lighting. So that is another very cool feature of the lanterns. You can make some pretty cool lights now. So yeah, now 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 you know the um the brightness in the night. <laughs> the next block is a weird one. The jigsaw. Um, it is not obtainable in the world. I had to get it via a command, and it should be more. Of, it should be more um, implemented in the future snapshot. And the thing it does is, it says right here, it's a junction block that allows to construct structures out of smaller templates. So this pool thing, I'm not sure what is this. All of this is. Um, but it says a few things here on the wiki that I'm going to read up. Target pool, which is this one up here, refers to a pool of elements the jigsaw block can draw elements from. For example, the next template to place. Um, I'm not sure. Let's just try and add something. Good. Why not? Um, attachment type, it says, refers to the name of the jigsaw block. Jigsaw blocks can only connect to other jigsaw blocks with the same name. Um, again, I have no idea what they're doing here. Um, not really much is 
done here. Not even the VK has a jigsaw as a block registered yet. So that is a thing that says kind of it's not implemented fully yet. Um, and turn into this just a block state, the jigsaw block will turn into once the whole feature is placed. And I'm guessing here, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know what this is basically. I can't really make it out of the things that they say on the wiki, but um, from what I, the thing I get of it is that you can potentially have a bl blueprint somewhere or something and then this block can craft that. I'm not sure to be honest, but it's certainly an interesting thing to remember and looking forward to see in the next snapshot, which they say it should be more or more fully implemented. Now let us take a look at some changes that they made to the previously added blocks, the cartography table, fletching table, scaffolding, smithing table, and stone cutter. Let us get those out. They should be right down here. Um, not the loom, not the barrel, not the spoken, not the blast furnace, cartography table, fletching table, um, grindstone is not one, um, smithing table, let's just get it out anyway, and stone cutter, and the scaffolding I'm missing. Scaffolding. There we go. Okay, so these, actually, let me put them with spaces. There we go. Let me just double here. Cartography table, um, fletching table, scaffolding. There we go. Um, smithing table and stone cutter. This is a grindstone, obviously. This has not been updated. So let us just get a stone cutter. Should be around here somewhere. There we go, stone cutter. So as you can see, these have now got new um, textures. So we got a little globe here, which got a, what looks like a map, maybe some notes or another map over there, a compass. Looks really cool. You can still not interact with it. The fletching table looks cool as well. I'm not, I don't recognize anything about the scaffolding whatsoever, but maybe they got a, no, sorry, the update with the scaffolding is before you could go out, I think it was three or four. Let me just check over here. Um, yeah, it could go four out without starting to fall, but now you can go out six whole blocks without it falling apart. So there we go. I'm now six block out. Now if I place the seventh, it falls and it needs another support before we can go out more blocks. So that is pretty cool too. Before you had to have more to have more support in your scaffolds. Now, well, you don't. So that is pretty cool that you have added that. And also the stone cutter got updated textures and also it has a small um, animation there. What could be awesome is to see maybe some redstone connected to this. And if you stand on it like this, you would get hurt and maybe it seems like it's going that direction. So if you went here, you would fly a couple of blocks because and take damage because it's going that way. That could be pretty cool to see. But that is basically the block updates that they have done, not including the crafting table. Also, of course, the smithing station here looks awesome as well. I really like these blocks and I'm interested to see what we will get from them in the future. Okay, so now some interesting stuff about the Illogia patrols that we got a look at in the last video that we did, where the Illogia patrols now spawn in the world. And that is, they now spawn in the world as a pack of five random Illogias. And the this is the weird thing, the Illogia beast was removed from the, from the um, patrols. Now that seems weird to me because from what I understand, those should be a part of the pillage and village update and raiding villages, but maybe they have a, another thing coming up. This is just a patrol and the beast is not in the patrol, but maybe they are making like an army or something. I have no idea, but the Illager beast has now been removed from the patrols and up to five villages now spawn in those patrols. Now here's something in the video settings, VBO, was previously a thing you could toggle between on and off. You can no longer do that. VBO is now always used, so you cannot turn that off. And if you don't know what VBO is, um, 
it's to it toggles vertex buffer objects, which personally I'm not sure what that means. It has nothing else to say in that matter of the VK, so I'm not sure what that means. But basically, you can no longer turn it on or off. So that's a thing to note for those who normally turn it off because you no longer can. So yeah, there we've got that. And here's some technical stuff. Um, I'm not sure what that means either, but I'm gonna get a stare out real quick just to test something. Um, because as you can know, you can face it whichever way you'd like, just like that. Um, they say added support for directional opacity of blocks used by slabs, stairs, snow layers, non-fold blocks, um, dirt related blocks and extended piston based blocks. And I'm not sure what that means. Like the dirt blocks can't really be turned, they're the same texture. Maybe I'm misunderstanding something, I'm not sure. But that is something technical that some of you might understand. Something I don't understand, but definitely something I wanted to include anyways. And then we just have 23 issues fixed from the least from from the le from released oh dear versions before 1.14 and from the 1.14 development versions as well. Four from the released versions before 1.14 and the rest basically from the other 1.14 development versions. So there you've got it, the 18W46A step shot. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned. If you have any suggestions or feedback or anything like that, be sure to leave a comment down below. But if you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel and haven't done so already, greatly supports me. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.